dot, dot. So additive inverses, what I want to talk to you uh, about real quick. Um, when talking about additive inverses, what we're going to be dealing with is two numbers and the special relationship between those two numbers. And I'm going to use a number line to represent this. So when looking at additive inverses, on a number line, if we pick a number, let's say positive 4, the inverse of positive 4 is going to be negative 4 as it's the same distance from 0 except it's now in the negative direction. Okay, so I still have it four units away from zero, but now it's in the negative direction. And we call these additive inverses because by using the inverse property of addition, what that states as I gotta write this whole thing out, but the inverse property of addition now states that for any real number plus the opposite value of that number is going to equal zero. So let's take a look at these two numbers. If I have the additive inverse, so to find the additive inverse of a number, if you take that number 4 and you take the opposite sign, which would be negative 4, that's going to be what we call the additive inverse. So if I take 4 plus negative 4, we can rewrite that as 4 minus 4, which we know is going to be equal to 0. So when we're talking about additive inverses, we're talking about you know what number um, added to or I'm sorry, what number added to a number is going to give it to be 0? Well, what we notice is since, if you look at this, since 4 and its additive inverse negative 4 are equal distance from 0, when you add them up together, you actually get 0. So that is going to be how we find additive inverses by using the inverse property of addition.